And it came to pass that on the next day, when they were come down from the hill, much people met him. So you see, like it says, you know, nobody knows because it wasn't the time for the people, you know, to know what had happened. It's the same thing. Dealing on, a, on, on, on like we read uh, earlier, the secret thing that is hid shall be manifest. It's the same thing. When you have those people con contacting those evil spirit, it is not to be. It, it's not supposed to be known by the mainstream people. But now that you know things are coming out, like the scripture says, all those secret things shall be coming. Shall shall be, shall be known. Right? People, you know. Dealing with dead spirit, you know, like this guy like to say, the spirits, you know. And behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, uh, verse 37. It says, and it came to pass that on the next day, when they were come down from the hill, much people met him. And behold, a man of the company cried out, saying, Master, I beseech thee, look upon my son, for he is my only child. And lo, a spirit took of him, and he suddenly cried out, and it terrified him that he formed again and bruising him hardly departed from hardly departed from him verse 40 and I besought thy disciples to cast them out and they could not so something happened here where he had his only son right and he had uh, a, a spirit on him, right? And he'd be like ripping his clothes, you know, tearing up his clothes. So they perceived Yahushai coming down the, the, the hill, and they asked Yahushai, you know, to do something about it. But keep in mind, Yahushai gave the disciples powers over unclean spirit and also powers to uh, cure diseases. But the disciples could not do anything about that particular uh, spirit that this child had on him. And besought thy disciple to cast him out and they, they could not. And Yahusha answered said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and suffer you? Bring thy son hither. Right? It says, you know, faithless generation. They have some sort of faith, but to Yahushai, the faith wasn't enough. Right? Because in order for them to be casting out, you know, devils and heal, they have faith in Yahushai. But on Yahushai stands, they still faithless because they could not, you know, attend, you know, the faith that they supposed to. Right? We all have some sort of faith, but we always need um, to improve it. Right? Same thing with the disciples. Verse 42. And as he was yet a coming, the devils threw him down and <laughs> tear him. And Yahweh shall rebuke the unclean spirit and heal the child and deliver him again to his father. So Yahushai spoke with the unclean spirit that was in the child and tell him to calm down, right? And then get the unclean spirit out of the child and then give him to uh, his parents or his father. And they were all amazed at the mighty power of the Mosai. But while they wondered, everyone at all things which Yahushai did, he said unto his disciple, Let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hand of men. So now he said, while I'm doing all these things right here, 
I know it's going to be hard for you to believe. I'm healing people, doing miracles. Also, you see what just happened on the mount? I'm going to be, ki be killed by men. And he said, make sure this sit with you. Because I know at this point right here, this is heavy and you cannot handle it. But I will be killed by men. Right? Imagine Christ doing all these miracles. Now, people are going to just catch him. He could have just fly away when they came. Right? He could have just like flew. But for the purpose of us, he will be killed by men. That's why he had to tell him, let him, let him get into your ear. Right? After all these things that you witnessed that I've done, guess what? I'm going to be killed by, by people, by ordinary people. Those people that I've been healing, then I, you know, those same people, you know, I'm going to be led into their hand and be killed. But they understood not the same, and it was hid from them that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask of that same. So now check this out. They don't. They don't want to imagine. They don't want to even be imagine themselves with Yahusha right now, because Yahu Yahusha, you know, did so many things in front of them. They just cannot. Picture your house shall, you know, being killed by men. For that, they couldn't understand. And not only that, they didn't even want to go into the subject. It's like, yo, I, I don't even, I heard what he said. I don't even want to get into it. Right I'm not even going to ask him what, he, what he's saying. Because I don't want to imagine him dying. Then there arose a reasoning among them, which of them should be greatest. So now they start, they start, you know, the wicked thing came into their, their mind now. I got power to, you know, heal devils. I mean, to cast out devils. I can kill people. So when he goes, who's going to be chief? Who's going to be on top now? You know, we got to we gotta vote now. You know? Who's going to be the next in command? There's come the power, the, 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 the pride of men. The America, love of power. America's next top uh, <laughs> apostle. Right. So now they want to find out, you know, uh, who's next? And then who's next? So it's a wicked re reasoning. And Yahweh well, shall perceiving the yeah, thought of their heart, was there then. took a child and set him by him. So now, Yahusha understood what was going on between him, between them. Now, Yahusha took a child again. He's showing them earthly things that has heavenly meanings. So while they were speaking, you know who's gonna take, who's gonna, who's next in line, right? So now, Yahusha see that he's gonna show him. An example. He took a young child and said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name receiveth me. And whosoever shall receive me receiveth him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. So now they cannot put, they cannot see themselves as kids. You know, those guys, they don't see themselves as kids at, the, at, at that point. So the Yahusha <coughs> show this to humble them, to show them, you know, when you humble yourself, a kid, when you take a character, a kid don't, it's not thinking about being president. A kid just want to play with a G.I. Joe. 
You know, they just want to, you know, go around and PlayStation, PlayStation and and Play when you look, really look at kids, Stickball. they they're saying um, like anger they don't have. One minute they cry, the next minute they laugh and they forgot that they were crying. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody d did something to them. The, the kid, do you see two kids are playing? Next thing they fighting, next thing, you know, they laughing like nothing happened. Right. They forget that they were fighting, you know, like two minutes ago. Right, right. So kids, you know, because the wickedness is not set in where they keep anger uh -huh. in their heart. Like they keep ang anger in their heart where, you know, I, I got to pay you back for, for what you did, this and that. <laughs> you know, they just went, went, went about and they forget everything. Right, right. Right? So, how child, That child like mine. Right. Want. Not to be um, childish, right. but to be childlike, mm -hmm. right? So that's what Yahusha was showing. Them. Not to be childish, but to be childlike. Somebody who's childish is different from some from from being childlike, right? Right. So you know that's a big difference. I don't know what do what do you say? Somebody who is childless is different than somebody being childlike. Childish is different oh, than you being childish. Childish is different oh, from okay. being childlike. I thought you said childless. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, I got you. I got you, bro boss man. Um, verse 49. I'm sorry, verse 47. For Yahweh shall perceive. Uh, 48, sorry. And said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name receiveth me. And whosoever shall receive me receiveth him. That set me, for he that that is least among you all, the same shall be great. All right, it says you know we went to the characteristic of a child, right? Even in the conversation, the child is not even invited in a adult conversation. You know, just <laughs> grown folks. This is grown folks right, talk. Just, Lead the room. Right. So they considered you know low. They consider a child, right? So Yahweh I pulled that example just to show us, you know, those that are not really considered, those are the ones that will be great in the kingdom. Uh, and who are not considered? Israel is not considered. We are considered as the child of God in the eyes of God. But in the eyes of the people, we are not considered as a people. Not, you know, we are not even considered as a people. So those who follow the scriptures and humble themselves and follow Yahusha and become childlike, those are the people who will enter the kingdom. So this was uh, 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 an answer to those disciples who went in and try to, you know, try to, you know, get position. Yahusha's position. That's 49. I got a link up. This is uh, Psalms 131. I like bringing this verse out on this topic because we look at uh, David, you know, as far as him being a great man, uh, you know, one of the uh, great righteous kings of Israel that we could look up to. But now, even he himself said that he always wanted to have that childlike attitude given the position he was in as opposed to okay being a king who was just you know prideful and it couldn't and couldn't receive correction this is a uh, psalms 131 it's only three verses so i'll just read the whole psalm verse one says yeah how my heart is not haughty nor mine eyes lofty Neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me. Verse 2. Surely I behaved and quieted myself as a child that is weaned of his mother. My soul is even as a weaned child. Then he says, let Israel hope in Yahweh from henceforth and forever. Right. So that's pretty much it. Right. So it's like being childlike mind. Because, um, you know, a child I ever can in, in the world. Whereas, as we grow... The more we grow, the more we should be like a child-like because a child is full of spirit, full of, you know, 